Hey everybody, West Coast Johnny, how's it going? I want to show you what I got. I'm painting my fence today. It's called the Wagner Flexio. It's the 2000 series. Uh, it uh, really simply comes apart. If for cleaning, they say five minutes. Cleanup time, that's great. Uh, here you have 12 different adjustments from one to 12, depending on the thickness of the paint. Also, you can adjust the flow rate. You want a lot of paint to come out or a little bit of paint to come out you can adjust your pattern your fan pattern horizontal vertical and then we have a high speed low speed for the there's like a little motor that um, and you want that on the high speed when you're painting something big like a fence and then here's just our on off so there it is 110 volt I got this um, in the mail I bought it online or on the you know QVC it's called QVC and I got this whole kit comes with the Flexio sprayer and it also included the um, finishing sprayer which is for stains or thinner paints or small jobs like if you just want to paint a door or something they th this this whole kit was $99 and then you got all the instructions you have um you have some practice you open this up it's like a giant poster and you can tape it up and then you can spray and practice your patterns i've done it before but uh, anyways i'll show you what it it's like a big uh so you can practice if you want see you just spray try to get it dialed in so i'm going to go ahead and uh start papering everything off and getting my plastic out so I can start on this project of painting right now. So here's the primer and then some of the white paint in some areas. And now I'm gonna paint uh, the accent stripe and it's gonna be some six foot stripes. One tip I wanted to give is make sure when you're painting down or up you're not going like like this or up like this even for a little bit because if you hold it like this actually if you read inside the, the guide for this Wagner says never let it go more than 45 degree angle because I think that's how the paint my paint went into the the mouth of the motor was I must have moved it or something and it little got in but you don't want to do that you don't want to paint like this and you don't want to paint like this because first of all your material isn't going to go on the same what you want to do is go like this and if you fill this up with paint whether you thin it or not it's nice and full you know the whole thing's probably going to weigh almost 10 pounds you two hands if you know if you, unless you want to do with one but you want to just go like this and down like this up down if it's heavy hold it go like this but don't go like this just go like this up and just like that and I have a video all about muscle memory for HVLP guns if you want to watch it's pretty cool so that's what I wanted to say all right I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna put some of my material in the the little holder right here and then I'm gonna thin it a little bit if it's as thick as the paint I used for the white that was made by Dunn Edwards paint and it's it's pretty thick okay so that's the color let's see let me pour some in it's just a stir it was just mixed not too long ago to show you how it turned out see the turquoise 
So the paper is still on because I need to do some touch-ups, but it's gonna be like white, turquoise, white, turquoise, and then I'm gonna put some uh, really cool stuff on the walls. This is going to get all st the stone. As soon as it comes in, they're gonna deliver it, and I can start putting it up. So I want to show you what I'm doing. I'm actually painting each uh, hole where my nail went in when I was putting this up with the nail gun because it got each nail got countersunk a little bit. What the problem with that is it casts a shadow and you can see like a little black ring or a little black spot. See, wherever there's a nail, you can see these spots, right? So I'm doing each one by hand, okay? And what the, the, the thick paint is doing, let me show you. It's actually making them look a lot better, see? You don't barely see them because they're not casting any shadow. Well, there's the fence, two coats of paint, and I did a bunch of trimming of uh, my palms and my Seiko palms back there, and that's it. So I just wanted to uh, show you guys how, you know, the paint, how I painted this fence, which is almost at seven foot, seven inches, but um, I could not have done it without the sprayer. And that was an amazing sprayer. I would use it again and again and again. I'm not gonna paint my whole house with it, but for fences and doors and cabinets, I'm telling you, the Flexio is the bomb. So all my new subscribers, I wanna say thank you. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, if you have any questions, of course, please leave a comment and uh, tell me about your projects. I wanna hear what you guys are working on. All right, take care.